Welcome. You see a shy? Perfect. Just. You feel like crying? Oh God, I'm feeling so emotional right now. <laughs> Alright, so tell us, why do you feel like crying? Uh, I would say that you know, the condition I left would be that I would get to the stage and I got I doubted myself. In fact, when my friends were guaranteeing me my boundaries, I was like, maybe I should just see this out. Maybe I should just uh, hands on nah, God. Thank God you didn't hands on me. But all the way, a talented and um, So how do you feel now? How do you feel now that uh, you are in the first three and you've gotten a certificate of achievement today? Right now, saying you be a winner and a great Talk about yourself. Talk about yourself. In this uh, competition, yes, it's true that everyone can put on Even me myself, I was even the way. But uh, there's something that I've learned with. It's not just about learning. About learning with every other person. Then you could be all at same. That's why the age and the world are still the same. And uh, there are still other stages, there are still other steps that we still have to do. Like we will see. Yes. So I'm very happy to see everyone here. I'm very pleased and happy. Because uh, when this uh, competition started, I was like, this, uh, this competition will be a scamming story. Because I made a lot of scamming. Yes, I made a lot of scammers before this point. So I was like, ah, elegant empire. Only that elegant thing that I was like, ah, that's come, come on. <laughs> so, although one of my friends, I really, I really appreciate the but I was very happy to be calling him smart kid. But wow, that smart thing, I, he's like a brother to me, he's like, guy, go ahead, I support you. Although he does not have uh, enough team, he's like, go ahead, I'm back here. So only him backing me up, but I didn't need any other person to back me up. I was like, since you are free, since you are here, I'm moving forward. Wow. Yeah, I'm very happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jimbo, tell the viewers, tell us all your name. My name is Madame Valentine. From Madame Dustin. Yeah. My new child. Welcome. So, what prompted you for you to get that name, Jim Bell? I, you see, I was this kind of guy that I always, like, during my school time, I used to have different kind of freaky, sleepy, crazy, and modern names. But then um, this Jim Bell was the name that I, well, I searched it and I saw it when I was looking for the name Jim Bell. I saw the Jim Bell like, I wanted my name to really ring bell in everybody's name. Oh, and Jingle Bell. Like Jingle Bell. Yeah. So <laughs> I wanted to pass the name of the bell. bell. Yeah, Jingle Bell rings the bell. <laughs> so I wanted to sleep in the bell. My spirit kept on telling me, take this, take this. So I'm like, I'm going to go. So when I see, I, when I spoke with my friends, man, I was like, guy, this name is very, very big. I was like, guy, as far as you're using me, Anything like tell you I'm going to do. But uh, if not for him, I would have used to do this. But many of my friends, even people that I even believe that I would have been there for me. Even the last day, the last day of the competition was saying, the guy that promised me that he was going to go to you. When I got to the show, I was like, ah, this was kind of how we do this, how we do this. I was like, guy. Your job is to just focus. I didn't say anything. I'm like, thank you very much. I really appreciate your everything. I love you. Because uh, I know mean, that one day, it's only take time. One day you will still see me everywhere. Everywhere, yes. Uh, because uh, the only thing I promised myself is that uh, I don't need to be a king or anything. 
I just want to show them that I will be the killer bee. Mm. I don't need to wait for five years. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Two, three years already okay for me to give them the kids that they All right, Jim Bell. So, briefly, tell us, how did you get to meet Elegant Empire? In that question. And what was your first impression about us? Yes, uh, you just asked me how they are. Yeah, uh, that was a very hard because I can't even remember how I feel like they got them. Because I don't know if it was on Facebook or Instagram, but the only thing I knew was that I already had a company. Alright? So when I met the Regan Empire, I saw the happy competition that was coming up. First of all, the last uh, the last uh, Rebel Day I met, they were they told me that I was going to be social money, the way they want me out to be me out of that. So I, I don't think I don't know if you remember us five minutes. Yes, you wanna we were gonna give me the contact of the school. When we met them I was like, ah thank God I was very happy that we have this. And when they started saying we pay money for this one, pay money for this one, I was like, thank you. Ah, this one that is what I say pay money for this. I hope this school will start this one. Like no no no. And ah, I remember even know that they are scamming that people going to the extent that uh, they were washing him, was washing him. Ah, I was finally when we even when we were waiting for the final moment, that's when they left. They stopped kicking our call, they stopped being there. So when I met Elegant Empire as the friend that I am, I called him, I told him that uh, that these people scammers don't mean that they will not be this Not how I, but I don't really can explain how I made them get it. But that's right. All right, that's fine. So basically, right now, how do you see Elegant Empire? Is it before that? Before you ask me that question, uh, when I was sitting there, I was thinking mm. that question will come. How, well, how did I see Elegant Empire? Empire? Seeing the CEO really makes me understand that yes, that Elegant Empire has been because. Uh, I wanted to see who was in, in charge of it yes, because I did not just want to hear uh, they are going to help us, they are going to invest on us. Uh, I wanted to see. So please, who is the CEO of Elegant? Ah, uh, please, uh, uh, Black Boy. Uh, yes, it's like it's like you're the CEO of Elegant Temple. Oh, 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 uh, why? Because me, I don't know. I want to see who is the CEO. Because uh, maybe class. I don't need to. Call the CEO. Oh, first class! <laughs> wow. Oh, but I would say that the CEO promised me that when I come to buy me a drink. So I think I'm <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the CEO, wherever you are, I believe the CEO forgot that he promised somebody a drink. So the CEO must buy Jim Bell a drink today. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thank you very much, Jim Bell. So you so seeing the CEO of Elegant Empire, and then what can you tell the viewers about us? What I can tell the viewers are that I'm really into um, just like just like I told my friend once I told him that the talent is a uh, gift. Yes, and uh, I believe that every woman being is born with talent. It's just that it takes time to get to discover the kind of talent that I have. Because when people are telling me that uh, it's not important. Now you know how to handle a business is also important mm -hmm. because not everybody that is successful. That's yes. why people will say you can handle this one. Right. Talent comes in different forms. So me myself, I am not uh, I don't learn music, I don't want to be I have music myself. Beautiful. <laughs> for the records we have music here. So if you are looking for music, please let's meet music. <laughs> All right, that's nice. Jin Bell, I'm super happy for you. All right, so where do you see yourself in the next five years from now? And what's your expectations from us as a company? The next five years, you I see our music, I think myself, we for that's why all our artists I've not gone, but I've not said that we're going to be that I'm in the future because 
just like this is Apple Music and these are Apple Music, just like when you're watching, you're watching Christian Ronaldo and Messi and trying to figure out the way they're That is the way I want this Apple Music to be. I want Apple Music to dominate the outside world because I want to be the African stars of blue to go far. Yes, and uh, in the next five years, just like I said, I am not waiting for five years to come. Five years is too far. Mm. I'm waiting for five years to come. I am expecting myself, I'm trying, I'm mean, figuring out to see myself that in the next two to three years, that, uh, at least my name will be, just like I said, my name will keep on ringing bells. I want to push music outside. Because I, want, I don't want video to be going outside to look for white people. I want them to come here looking for us. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. So, what's your word of encouragement to all up and coming artists watching you right now all over the world? Mm. My message and uh, my encouragement to every other life. My message not only to upcoming artists, my message is also to upcoming businessmen, uh, actors, and but every young talented star that I have. Because I have about two, three in my family. Yeah, just like my junior sister, I just discovered that she really is out So I'm also sending a message to her that she should never mm -hmm. yeah, just give it up with uh, the young people. And just like I said in the competition, uh, you see, when I go to see you, that uh, you should congratulate me. He was like, Why are you telling me to congratulate? I said, uh, You see, a uh, uh, competition like this, you don't need to fight for that to be possible. I've seen the whole world and uh, I've seen the way I've seen the race that I'm running, I've seen the way the race that I'm angry around and I was like, this is who is going to win. So there's no need to uh, How come you did not see AK Crown? Uh, I would say that um, the AK Crown is very good at that game because from the beginning, in the fact, he really impressed me, yes, because uh, he was the first person to run at that conference. Then I was like, wow, from 10 to 100. This guy is, uh, if it's his first appearance, I would say this guy is. Is uh, like for worker. You know, for worker, you know, you don't go go. Ah, you get out of the machine. So before you know it, uh, the we used to was uh, racing. Ah, uh, I was like, oh my god. So me myself, I was not even see myself as a part of the people of racing because uh, I didn't even put my mind in the <laughs> I didn't even. So suddenly, uh, I was even see myself in the game because even at the end of the game, you meet the chat and I was like, guy, you're a machine. <laughs> Well, this way, I want to say, but I really appreciate both of them because, uh, yeah, the way their spirit and everything made me push for them. Yes, and I'm very happy to be inside. I'm very happy to be inside. Thank you. So, my message to upcoming artists, upcoming artists outside is that uh, you should never be a problem. Your talent is a gift. It's a very precious gift. Yes, and uh, when you discover that, you know, you need to just be a good person. You can't buy it. You can't even drink. Yes. So that's my message to them that you never do the keep fighting for it. Thank you very much. So lastly, before you leave, what's how can we meet you? What's uh what's your what's your word? Say something to your fans all over the world and tell us how we can contact you uh for all the people that wants to be your new fans, your new supporters, and for all your fans out there. Tell us how we can contact you and say something to them. Hmm, right now, uh now that uh, I just started working in the Africa I would say that I'm I'm not really I'm not actually seeing myself down as I figure out the way I want to keep my line but I would say right on my Facebook then you can chat me with uh, my Facebook where you can get a very martial that you can martial as a king of every arena yes and also in TikTok Great, Marshall. And uh, the next time I'm to great, Marshall. Great. I really appreciate it. Alright, thank you very much. Thank you.